Hello everybody. What we are going to do is to take an equation given in slope intercept format and graph it on the shown Cartesian coordinate plane. We are going to use the example y is equal to one third x take away three. The first thing that we have to do in order to graph our straight line is to find the y intercept. The y intercept is just at what point on the y axis is our line going to intersect. The b term in our equation is the y intercept and we can see that it is negative 3. So all we have to do is locate negative 3 on the y-axis, and our y-axis is the line which always goes up and down on our coordinate plane. Now we know that negative 3 is 1 below negative 2, so our point is going to be drawn right here in between negative 2 and negative 4. So we're going to put a little smiley face so we can understand that our straight line is going to go right through that point at negative 3 on the y-axis. Once we have our starting point established, what we do then is we identify the slope of the equation. The slope is located right in front of our x term. The m is the variable used for the slope of this equation. And we can see that one third is in front of the x. Now this simply means the rise over the run. Because our slope is positive, our slope is going to be going upwards. And the rise is going to be positive one. And after we go up positive one, we are going to go over to the right 3. So from our smiley face, we are going to go up 1, and then we're going to go over 3, and then we're going to make a new point. And then we can go up 1 again, over 3 again, and then make a new point. Once we have a few points, all we have to do is to take a straight edge or a ruler and connect those points together. And then we have a line which is represented by the equation y equals 1 third x take away 3, plotted on our Cartesian coordinate plane. And that's all you really have to do to graph an equation given in slope intercept format. First, you want to find the y intercept, put that single point there, and from that point, you identify the slope and find the rise over the run, make a series of points, and then make a straight line going through those points.